Hello, it is Thursday, February the 23rd, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading from the Old Testament book of 2 Samuel, this time chapter 18, verses 24 through 33. Here's the word of the Lord. While David was sitting between the inner and outer gates, the watchman went up to the roof of the gateway by the wall. As he looked out, he saw a man running alone. The watchman called out to the king and reported it. The king says, if he is alone, he must have good news. And the runner came closer and closer. Then the watchman saw another runner, and he called down to the gatekeeper. Look, another man running alone. The king said, he must be bringing good news too. The watchman said, It seems to me that the first one runs like Ahimaaz, son of Zaduk. He's a good man, the king says. He comes with good news. Then Ahimaaz called out to the king, All is well. He bowed down before the king with his face to the ground and said, Praise be the Lord your God. He has delivered up those who lifted their hands against my lord the king. Then the king asked, is the young man Absalom safe? Ahimaaz answered, I saw great confusion just as Joab was about to send the king's servant and me, your servant, but I don't know what it was. The king said, stand aside and wait here. So he stepped aside and stood there. Then the Cushite arrived and says, my lord the king, hear the good news. The Lord has vindicated you today by delivering you from the hand of all who rose up against you. Then the king asked the Cushite, Is a young man Absalom safe? The Cushite replied, May the enemies of my lord the king and all who rise up to harm you be like that young man. The king was shaken. He went up to the room over the gateway and wept. As he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, if only I had died instead of you. O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. And that is the word of the Lord. <clears throat> the article today is titled Winning Versus Losing by Steve Malcolm. Here's what Steve writes. We live in a world that is obsessed with winning and losing. We talk as if in order for someone to win, someone else must always lose. And, of course, if there can only be winners and losers, we want to be winners. David found the price of winning too high. Absalom had rebelled and had been killed in the fighting. <clears throat> David's first reaction on hearing of his victory was mourning. This is not the first time in Scripture that we see this kind of reaction from him. In 2 Samuel chapter 1, David mourned the death of Saul. David models a holy reaction to conflict. He would rather not have been in conflict, but even when it was unavoidable, he mourned the harm it did to those he was in conflict with. How often do we love our enemies enough to mourn our own victories? What would it look like if God changed our hearts so that we felt the pain of those we are in conflict with? It might sound like this. Oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom. It would bring us closer to the heart of God. The hymn is by Fanny J. Crosby, Rescue the Perishing. Weep over the erring one, lift up the fallen, Tell them of Jesus, the mighty, to save. And from the book of James, chapter 4, verse 6. But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture said, God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. And this is your daily devotion for Thursday, February the 23rd. Have a blessed day.